we started in business in uh, actually 1972. My dad and brother had a cleaning business and they wanted to get into the supply business. And uh, so uh, I was a meat cutter for 13 years and I switched over to being in the janitor supply. We find a lot of people we deal with, uh, you know, stripping and waxing floors. They don't have, uh, know all the steps to it. And, and we help any of them, you know, and I think that's kind of how we got, got started with Gary. That was at the uh, original baby fold there on, uh, on Willow. A lot of times being a janitor is taken for granted. Uh, everybody's a janitor if they got a mop bucket and a ringer and a mop, you know, they're a janitor. But uh, uh, Gary needed help and uh, I said, well, I'll just come over and uh, we'll just go through the process, you know, and we'll strip the floor and I'll show you the, the way I was always taught. Uh, it's, it's not rocket science, but <laughs> there's a, a, a certain way it should be done, you know. You know, I think that's the name of the game with anything anymore, is you do have to be a service-oriented business to keep going. We have a wonderful relationship. I mean, even the, the housekeepers, we start with that, you know, but Gary was in charge of them, but then they are just so dedicated to what we feel and what we do for keeping things clean and nice, and, and they're very good to work with. The, the building I work in, I think it was built for the residential, and I'm in the, the basement of the residential, no windows or anything like that, but it's next to the kitchen. And uh, they have two uh, commercial laundry washers and dryers, and then one smaller one. And then they, each unit has their own bin, which is, I, it's one of those cubicle bins, I don't know what they're called. They hold a lot. And so it's sorted and washed and dried and folded. When I first started there, I didn't know the age of the children were there. And I have a grandson that's nine. And it, when I started, he would have been seven. And some of the little boy's underwear was size six. And I, I just got, I had a real soft spot in my heart that, you know, there, there's a little boy up there that is younger than my grandson that doesn't have a mom and dad. And I, it, it bothered me. I think, you know, these, there's no stability in these kids like that. And that's awful young to be in a place you know, I know it's a good place to be, and it's it's a roof over their head, but I, and he I know he's not the only one. What they do, I think, is wonderful, and there's a need for it. You definitely see that they've got a full house all the time.